cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? What's going on in the life of a cancer in the mid-July, okay? What's going on? Is it awesome? Is it phenomenal? Are you guys not wearing your feelings on your sleeves? That's what I feel. Why the hell is my second time recording y'all shit and y'all gave me anxiety? You know there. Let's get it. <laughs> cancer, y'all energy is very anxious. I don't even know why I'm moving so damn fast. This is my second time, okay? And I usually don't have second time. So I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on. What's going on with my water babies, all right? So let's rock and roll. This will be for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as cross watchers for cancer. For those of you who are first-time viewers to my channel, hey, boo, hey. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. I am Mocha. I would like to thank everyone in advance for all the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, the love in the comment section. Y'all. Thank you a million. I love y'all back. You understand? Because that is very healing to me. Through this journey, through the past couple of months, life has been hell not swell what Miss Girl has been pushing through. Okay? But I will say, all my love that y'all give, y'all, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Thank y'all so very much. I truly appreciate it. Also, this is a, not a personal reading. It's a general. If you do want a personal Please look at the information in the description. Hit a kid up in the email, and I got you. I'm not 100% booked. My turnaround time was at the, with, is within 24 hours as far as when I get back to you. Usually, I respond immediately, and you'll be scheduled out either that day or the next day. So, hit me up, all right? Um, happy birthday. Also, speaking of personal readings, for your birthday season, I have a 30-minute, $40 special up until August 25th. So that will work for Cancers and Leo. If you are a Cancer or a Leo, if you're cross-watching for the twos, I have 30 minutes for $40 only for Cancers and Leos. Okay? Tell a friend. Tell a neighbor. Tell them get their life. I help people get their life. All right? So hit me up. All right? I'm not 100% booked. Let me stop playing so damn much. But I'm trying to make the mood light because y'all energy was very heavy. It was a heavy but anxious energy. So let me give you what I feel intuitively to tell for my cancers, okay? Ooh, hold on. Let me grab my hammer this baby. Cancers intuitively, you already know. That you're needing to move on from a situation. But your your lesson this month will be <laughs> sometimes what you want isn't always what you need, okay? It's the, the things around, the lessons around individuals, people, places, and things teach us the things, teach us the lessons that we need to go forward. But as far as the individual and their self, Sometimes what we want and all what we need. I feel like a lot of y'all are self-sabotaging yourselves for the love of someone who makes you feel rejected or maybe comes in and out of your life. Mid-July, a lot of y'all are waiting on, uh, I feel fire energy, I feel water energy, I feel earth energy. A lot of y'all are waiting on one of those three, okay? And I feel like for those of you who are waiting on one of the three, I feel like in the past, Cancer, this person has shown you who they are. You believe them, yet you just put your blinders on, and spirit is not going to continue to allow you to do that. So, whoever that was speaking to, that's, and I feel like that's a lot of y'all, because the energy I feel behind this is anxious. Like, you know, it's like I got to hold on to something, but I feel like a lot of y'all are holding on to things, people, places, and things that don't want to be kept. Okay? So, let's rock. My spirit from the 15th to the 31st of July. Most high God, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please come through. Please remove this energy, this heavy energy from my cancer. Being an empath, I feel all of it. So I ask you how would you graciously give me the messages for cancer? Some of them Venus, as well as their cross watchers. What are they needing to know? What are they desiring? What are they? What steps are they needing to take? That's right. Well, thank you, Spirit. They find it fast. Okay. All right. I did pull um, some angel messages. Okay. For you guys, uh, I pulled messages from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot card. As well as uh, 
my Doreen Virtue Crystal Angels deck. So I'm going to get five of those as well. Okay. All right. Mid month July. Let's get it. All right, Cancer. I feel like a lot of y'all will be working on something. Whatever it is that you've been working on for the last three weeks, three months, three years, I do see that y'all will be seeing a financial, some type of financial windfall, a financial abundance, and whatever it is that you've been working on. For some of y'all, it's been uh, a relationship with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But you're finna materialize something. Um, down here in the present, okay? I do see you, you some of y'all will be cutting people off. Some of y'all going to be cutting off Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? But I feel like y'all needed to cut people off or will be good getting cut off by people. But this is a very healing period, okay? First off, let me show you this. You have the Ace of Wands. Y'all going to be starting something very new, okay? Whatever it is that you're passionate about, the Divine is wanting you to heal yourself, okay? But while you're healing, you're going to be working on whatever it is that you're passionate about. And you're going to be receiving kind of like a divine pushes you get what i'm saying like divine nudges to assist you along your journey i do see financially y'all looking good okay i do see y'all want to offer someone y'all want to make an offer to either an earth sign but some of y'all is an aquarius okay but you want to make an offer to someone it's going to you're going to make that offer after cutting somebody else off okay i do see some of y'all will others of y'all will be cutting off or possibly starting a new with it, uh, with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, some of y'all going to cut off the way that you did things before and work on, work on something solid with this person. Maybe cut off your way of looking at things, cut off the way that y'all moved in the past, cut off, actually visit, keep constantly visiting the past for some of y'all. Some of y'all intuitively know, okay? Some of y'all into it, your intuition has already been nudging you for something, possibly to cut off someone or that somebody was going to be cutting you off, okay? But I feel like some of y'all stand in a situation because you know you, you've literally manifested that you're going to either renew a, a situation or you're going to just stick through it and put the work in, okay? I strongly feel like this has to do with finances. Whatever it is that y'all have recently just started working on, something about the number three. Y'all been seeing the number three, 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 four, 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 five, five, five. I strongly feel like cancer mid-month, something is going to materialize for y'all. For some of y'all... Some of y'all got a new start with the Virgo, okay? I feel like this person is going to bring your life abundance, okay? Because I feel like whatever you've been working on before in a relationship, possibly with another earth sign, it could be any sign. Where, wherever you've been at trying to move things along, okay, and move things forward and build something material with this person, I feel like you tired, Cancer, okay? You focus. A lot of y'all going to put that down and focus on your money. For some of y'all, it's a Scorpio, okay? But some of y'all going to put these burdens down. Okay, and go in this introspection mode and focus on yourself. And for some of y'all, that's going to bring you a financial blessing, okay? I feel like y'all were definitely going through a period of healing, okay? This could be from air sign, any damn sign. I'm really trying to take away the sign so much, okay? Because I feel like you're healing from not having clarity about three-party situation or that three-party energy. I feel like in the midst of healing, when you hear or get some communication, okay, regarding um, a three-party situation, it could be involving an air sign yourself a Sagittarius as well but I do see that for some of y'all this could be a Sagittarius some of y'all could be watching a stalking a Saggy or a Saggy is stalking you because you feel like this is the person they got away this could be you or, or within your energy for some of y'all it's the person who you want to make an offer to um they could have a Sagittarius somewhere in the mix or this could be the Sagittarius with you cancer charging in but for some of y'all y'all going to be having a fire sign come back in and offer you something are you going to offer a new passion to beginning towards a fire sign and I feel like mid-month July y'all going to speak y'all mind some of y'all have okay for some of y'all some of y'all, in order to move forward, okay, take back your power, I feel like some of y'all going to be cutting off the father of your children, or some of y'all could be getting cut off by an Aries, okay, this person could be coming for you, waiting on messages from this person, this message could, this person could be receiving messages going forward, possibly uh, concerning their children, or if you guys have children together, some of y'all could be getting Clarity and information regarding children or a soulmate relationship possibly having to do with the Aries, okay, or an air sign and some call the towel moment for some of y'all, okay. 
But some of y'all, y'all are like in love with a fire sign. Maybe y'all tied to them in business as well as, well, I'm sorry, business as well as love. I do see the business part taking off. But as far as your ties to love and business with this person, you're going to have to pick which way you want to go, okay? For some of y'all, this person has kind of picked it for you that y'all want to do business, okay? Or this will be communicated to you mid-month July. I do see that some of y'all are working on there being an equal give and take before offering someone something, okay? This could be an earth sign, but any sign, I feel like there was a reciprocity issue and maybe you couldn't get something that you were working for off the ground due to finances. I do see that communication is going to be coming very soon, possibly from a fire sign that's possibly going to... A fire sign is possibly finna cut y'all off and y'all finna cut off a fire sign, okay? I strongly feel like you want to communicate. You want to charge in to communicate this offer that you want to give because this person is the person of your dream. For some of y'all, it's an Aquarius. But intuitively, you already know that it's just not the time for you and this person. For some of y'all, some of y'all, y'all going to have actually a change within your financial situation. And that's going to allow you to move forward and actually go chase the person who you want, okay? Some of y'all finna get y'all wish because y'all got the Nine of Cups as well as the Star. You got the Ace of Pentacles twice. So for some of y'all, y'all wish is to have a happy family situation with the, with, with surrounded by stability, okay? And for some of y'all, that is the outcome in this. If you're dealing with an earth sign, okay, and you've been freshly, dealing, freshly trying to renew something or starting over with the earth sign, Okay, I do see total victories around Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Okay, I do see some slight communication issues around the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and I feel like an offer, either they're offering this or you're offering this mid-month camp, mid-month July cancels, but it's not really getting off the ground. Change is going to have to come to the dynamic in some form. If it's change with reciprocity, if it's change, if it's change is having to do with communication because i also see somebody communicates very quickly she finna cut some people ass off cancer did not come to play i see because i see currently right now y'all in the energy of feeling like you know crying over spilled milk or well, maybe in the past i should have did this or maybe in the past that person should have did this but it's two cups standing Okay, so you can choose to look at the negative in the situation or you could turn around, move forward and grab them damn cups and move forward with your cups that you got. Because they're, they're overflowed. They're full. They're full. So you could take these little three. Take these as the lessons. Okay, move forward with them blessings. Okay, and you can even take them down in not not at these empty shit. Leave them there and keep moving here. Who knows? You may find four more four more damn cups. Or eight more damn cups along the damn way. Rather, because cups don't they, they signify love, but they don't all they don't necessarily have to be love from a person. They can signify self love. Maybe you didn't love yourself in the past enough for you to see that this person wasn't shitting for you. Now you're loving yourself more, cancer. And because you are doing so, you're able to materialize more. You get what I'm saying? A lot of y'all have this new energy coming. You got this sun energy. Only if you trust your intuition, okay? For some of y'all, intuitively, there's some kids involved in this thing, and it's some secrets finna be, some shit finna hit the fan that's gonna cause you or the person within your energy to move forward, for y'all to move forward in a more grounded way with the firmer foundation, and then from that comes blessings. Get me? All right, so, counselors, what I got here is the King of Water. Again, mid month July, intuition. It's going to be popping. A lot of y'all are coming through as the king of water. You're getting your balance back, okay? Some of y'all have healed and you're getting your balance back. You're moving forward, okay? And within moving forward, you're not wearing your feelings on your sleeves. Some of y'all have learned from the games of love, okay? I do see here you have the, um, I'm sorry, you have the emotions. This is the 11 of water, okay? This is the emotion intellect again, too, balance. Okay, so it's telling you right now with the emotion over intellect. It's telling you to make head over heart decisions, okay? Some of y'all have been making heart over head decisions, okay? Or, I'm sorry, heart over head decisions or head over heart decisions. Or this could be someone in your energy making head over heart decisions. However, that energy will be shifting very soon, Cancer. It's some things working behind the scenes that you guys can't see. The divine is really in motion. How I know it's because, one, my, ear, my nose itch like hell. Some of y'all could also be business owners. Some of y'all play the lottery. This is a good month for my council's mid-month. July, play the lottery. 
the stars in your favor, darling. Okay. I do see here titanium rainbow quartz was the message, angel message that I picked for y'all. Okay. It says multi multifaceted. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person that you're asking about. So, Cancer, I feel like there is a death. I'm sorry, a transformation, a death, a rebirth, a materializing, and some 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 foundation, some some pieces of the foundation gonna have to fall out. Some people gonna have to fall out your damn capsule, Cancer. Okay, but it's your month to choose who for you and who not. What did I learn? How will I go forward? We're going forward. What am I taking with me? What lessons am I taking with me? Will I hold on to the way things was or will I move on with knowing and just having that that little oomph behind my damn knowing of with me moving on, we going to be all right. <laughs> we going to be all right. Just know. The divine needs you just to know, trust, know. Some of y'all been getting dreams about it and you just feel like some of y'all been getting dreams about other people while you chasing somebody else. Your dream person coming back. Okay? But while you chasing the ideas of focusing on the negative and things, look at things from a different way. Okay? Look at things from a different perspective and I promise you, once you look at things not from an emotional place, but look at them from an intellectual place, beautiful things will fall in your lap. You're the king of water. That person don't wear their sleeve. They, they feel it on their sleeve. However, they do take their experiences and what they went through emotionally and they use that shit to turn pain into power. Do you understand? I need y'all to move. Move. Turn your pain into power. Things that's not going to work out how we expected them to, okay? For some of y'all, y'all been waiting on somebody and they're going to come back and you're going to find out you really ain't shit. Next, I've really grown past you. But on the cool, this is the person who y'all been limiting. Right now, you are limitless. 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 That's what I'm going to name this video. Limitless. Limitless expectations is what you need to have. You try to put your damn eggs in a five basket. When you got a whole ten finna come and push you off your damn feet. Ten. Towers got to fall. Reciprocity has to happen. Wishes got wishes finna be granted. Blessed new beginnings in a family dynamic. Okay, you got the Ace of Pentacles twice. The coin will be the coin will be falling and it will be in the building. You understand? You got the Ace of Wands. Whatever it is that you're passionate about, you're gonna be making the coin through your passions while living your desires. What the hell do you have to look negative? Who wants to live in the past? Okay. Multifaceted. I'm sorry. Titanium rainbow quartz. Let's get it. It says the personal situation that you're asking about is multifaceted. Like a gemstone, that means that there are many different sides to consider. There isn't one plain truth here, but several, which could create contradictions, inconsistencies, and confusion. You need to be honest with yourself about whether these differences are acceptable or upsetting to you. If you're asking about a certain person, this card is a sign of a complicated and unpredictable relationship. Some may consider this exciting while others find it to contain too much drama. Most people have layers to them and as long as the other person is behaving ethically and with integrity, you may benefit from this relationship. Again, it's a matter of being honest about your likes and dislikes. If your question is about a specific person, this card is a sign that there is no single right answer. Sometimes this is because free will choices are currently shaping the outcome and nothing has been predetermined. In some cases, this card means that it's up for interpretation whether or not this is a positive situation according to the individual taste and preferences. Like again, I said, this person may come back and they may not be shit. All in all, being comfortable with ambiguity and the undetermined future is an opportunity for you to be the director of your own unfolding movie masterpiece. You were made in the image and likeness of the creator, so you can create a wonderful present and future. It starts with your thoughts, Cancer. Your thoughts, your desires. Are you really limiting yourself? I want y'all to really, when you watch this video and you click off a of mocha, stop and think to yourself. 
some of the options that you've had and the things that you know about your options and also think about the options that you chose okay how did that affect or shape where you are and where you're trying to go and how can you grow from that in which you already have experienced how can it ignite the things in you that you're passionate about that you can build from on a on a material level because there is so much power in this reading get off that anxiety shit get out of that get out of the thoughts that you got to please somebody else to keep them around you ain't good enough get out of that shit Get out of that hole. I'm going to accept not an equal give and take because I want to keep you around. Get out of that shit. Get out of that hole. Oh, we got kids. I just want this person even though they treat me like shit. Get out of that shit. Because you got something better waiting on the other side if you just stop limiting yourself to what you know. It's time to grow. It's graduation time, babies. You are limitless. Limitless. You are. So be it. I love y'all. This is what I got for y'all mid-month July. If you need that personal, hit me up. Mm.